About 15 years ago, I started to take an interest in renewable energy, and I studied the various sources. What immediately grabbed my attention was the one deriving from wood. For an entrepreneur like me with many generations originally from this territory, it is almost natural to use olive wood to warm up, because it is a wood that resists, develops a lot of heat, and consequently creates harmony inside the houses. So it's our wood, and our wood is our territory. I found it fantastic to produce energy from waste. That was the point in wood, and therefore a natural, organic, vegetable substance. In 2010, Marcello Piccini opened the company Fuses, using olive tree prunings to produce thermal energy and electricity. In the beginning, partners saw us a little suspiciously. But gradually over the years, this relationship of trust has increased more and more until we came to count about 2,000 farms among our partners of this agro-energy chain. Our vehicles go to the countryside completely free of charge. We make a collection of pruning residues and after which we bring them to our plant. Once they are there, raw material through a cogeneration system becomes both thermal energy and electricity. Our produced energy is then conveyed directly to the city of Calimera and feeds its citizens. For our part, we have turned their waste into a resource. The plant is essentially composed of two large blocks, a thermal part composed by a boiler where the combustion of virgin wood takes place with hot fumes, heats and exchanges heat with the thermal oil which becomes the geothermal vector through which the electric energy is produced in the turbine. With 1,200 kilograms of olive tree prunings, 1,000 kilowatts of electricity are produced, avoiding the equivalent 500 kilograms of oil. I was always looking for a zero-waste development. In the production of thermal energy, we recover the excess heat that is not used to produce energy to dry the wood, from which we produce the pellets in our factory. We are working with a research project that is precisely to recover the ashes in the form of fertilizer. So our dream is developing an economic system that creates resources and creates jobs. Nothing is thrown away and at the same time returns the countryside in the form of fertilizer resource. There are two requirements in any part of the world. First is the surplus of pruning residues availability. Second, the need for microelectric generation. My pride is that of having created an economic activity from a scrap that maintains my family and that of all my employees and not only the ones working directly at the company. I am proud to say that my business, my profession, my company are a challenge for me.